It was really interesting to see that as far as the British public were concerned, they were very conservative when it came to spag bol, but I needed to drive the recipe forward. So I decided to take a couple of ideas that I saw from both Massimo and Carlo and incorporate them into my recipe. But I had to do it in a way that was still presentable as spaghetti bolognese. Now here I've got a large frying pan, it's hot. I've left it on full heat for about 10 minutes. I'm take some extra virgin olive oil and as soon as it starts smoking, I'm gonna add the meat. We've got two types of meat here. This is pork, it's been hand chopped and this is gonna bring real refinement to the dish. Much in the same way that Massimo used shredded meat in his ragu. And in here, I've got minced oxtail. And that's gonna give the ragu a really gutsy base. Now it's very, very important. Use the largest frying pan that you can find and make sure that the meat fits in the pan in one layer. If it's too thick, the meat on top's not gonna brown, it's gonna sweat. We've gotta brown the meat as quickly as possible. You'll actually be able to hear when the meat's starting to brown. Because what'll happen is the noise will go from the sizzle of water evaporating to the sizzle of the meat actually frying, and that's what we're looking for. You can hear it's actually starting to spit. If your pan's not large enough to get all the meat in one layer, brown the meat in batches. Okay, that's ready. It's, it's turned a, a light golden brown. Now, add the meat to the casserole. With the, with the vegetables we prepared earlier, the soft frito and the onions. And again, there's so much flavour stuck to the bottom of this pan, you can't throw it away. So I'm going to deglaze with the white wine, the rest of the white wine. Just make sure that you get all the bits, every single morsel of flavour from this pan. When the wine's reduced by two thirds, just tip it into the casserole. Now we're gonna cook the ragu. And picking up on something that I saw in Italy, I'm gonna use a mixture of milk and water to cook this. Bring the liquid to a boil, reduce the heat, keep it at a very light simmer with the odd bubble popping up to the surface. You'll see a light froth on the surface. Just remove this, I'm using a ladle, but a spoon will do the trick. I'm now gonna leave this to cook for six hours. That might seem like an incredibly long time, but the results are well worth it.